I'm going to do a, an extremely quick card. And it's going to be like a 4th of July Independence Day card. I'm going to put these two together. And I don't want to um, adhere them together like with, with glue or tape. I'm going to put a small brad through it. Because I have these teeny tiny little brads that I had gotten with some Inde Independence Day magnets that I got at Tuesday morning. I don't know, close to two years ago. But they're just adorable little stars. Aren't those cute? Here's some other options. I had bought some other brads from Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday morning. It was um, a little bag that had all kinds of different brads in it. It had like brads that were like corner brads, and then it had these little floral brads, and then it had these. And the reason that I got these out <clears throat> is, you know, when fireworks explode sometimes they have this shape so that kind of made me think of that and it goes well with that light blue and then another thing that I had gotten last year were these adorable little pins just I don't know there's a name for these and I can't remember what they are I got, I got these at Dollar Tree. And there's like six different designs. Anyway, I thought this would be cute too. I'm probably not going to put it on this card. But I think it would be cute on a card. This is the Heidi Swap stamp set that I have that is all birthday themed. But this happy and birthday are separate. So I'm going to use this happy above this Independence Day. And this um, this page came out of this doodle bug deal or what doodle bug deal album inserts 4x6 album inserts is what it's called. Anyway this design was kind of on a slant but I didn't want it slanted so I straightened it up, just in a paper trimmer. I can't think of words this morning either. I have a hard time thinking of words anyway. I'm just going to use the Ranger Archival Black Ink. I think I want to go there. Cute. Probably should have used blue or red ink, but I didn't. Alright, my base is a standard five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then this piece here. Let me get it on here. Is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Goodness. And then I just got a got out a um, navy blue sheer ribbon. Put that a little too far to the right, but it'll be all right. I don't worry about those things. Because to me, they're 
are far more important things to worry about in this life than whether or not a piece of cardstock is perfectly centered on a card. This whole mess with this missile testing and all that in North Korea, I think, is one thing that interrupts my sleep because those are things that I worry about, you know, that I do that I do stress out about because those are very real is issues that can affect a great number of people. I don't want to completely cover this D. Wait, I probably had that a little too tight. I don't know, do you guys think about those things and and stress about those things? Those are things that I, I wonder about. I can't possibly be the only person that thinks about these things and worries about these things. when you have people who are running countries that are extreme egomaniacs it can make for a very disastrous scene you know and that definitely appears to be the case of course I don't know either of those men maybe I'm misreading it But that's certainly how it seems. And see if you wanted and you had these little buttons, these little pin things here, you could always stick those through the paper. I cut them out just to give different options. I guess I could have put a bread through the middle of this. Good thing I needed one there, huh? use that to cover up my glue dots. This one you can't really see. 
So we'll just stick these somewhere else. Come out of there. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Thanks for spending a little time with me. I hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.